All right, how did I first land my major gig? That's the Halsey gig, I'm sure that you're talking about. Um, so the story for that starts, let's start in Chicago. Um, when I was, I guess when I moved back, back from college, I was living at my grandparents' house in Chicago for a few years before I got an apartment of my own. Um, and uh, I was saving money, so this is very important in the story because that also applies to some other advice answers that I gave. So yeah, I was saving money for three years living at my grandparents' house, um, so I had a cushion. Then after that, I got an apartment, but I kept that savings. I still lived below my means and worked really hard in the Chicago jazz scene, rose to the, you know, of, of, to, to, to a place where there wasn't really higher to go in the Chicago scene. And I talked to some other Chicago artists who had stayed there and some who had left, and I determined that I wanted to get into a bigger pond and leave Chicago. So I moved to LA when I was 27, started losing money for two years, and then when I was 29, I, um, well, okay, let's not skip there. So in those two years when I was in Los Angeles, I, uh, I was hitting the ground, going to every single jam session I could, playing with as many people as I could, learning all the tunes that the people there knew. And um, there was one jam session I went to where I really killed it. It was just a great night. Then everybody was coming up to me afterwards and asking to keep in touch with me. Uh, and one of the people who came up to me afterwards was uh, a young guitarist who I ended up giving some lessons to. Um, he asked me if I would teach him some, some jazz lessons. Um, and uh, so, let's see. So I, I taught him for a few months, and then he happened to know somebody who had just gotten a call from a, uh, a new artist named Halsey. <laughs> um, so this was Vinnie Farah, who the music director at the time for Halsey. Uh, he had gotten a call, well, it was actually through a, through Universal that he had gotten the call because she just got signed to Astral Works, and he started a search nationwide throughout all of LA and all of New York, essentially interviewing as many pianists as he could for the position of keyboardist for Halsey. So, um, then this guitarist that I was, uh, that I was teaching, he happened to know Vinny, and Vinny asked him if he knew anybody, and he said, I know this guy, Greg, who uh, I think would be a good fit. So Vinny looked me up online, saw my electronic music videos that I'd done, this thing called Hard Jazz, which I did back in the day. And um, he was impressed at my playing and, and uh, sound design capabilities. So he called me up, asked if I would audition. At first I said, no, I don't really do auditions. Um, but <laughs> Then uh, so I, had, I had something canceled, and so I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. And so I sent some videos, and he came over to the house and showed him what I could do. Um, and uh, and he, he said, okay, you're, you're the one for the job. Um, that was, so this was two years after I had moved to L.A., and I had been losing money this whole time. I was actually out of money at that point, um, or just about out of money. And I spent the last bit of money in my bank account, um, buying the keyboards that I needed to go on the road with Halsey. Um, now, uh, so let's see. Then, then we, so so I I did the audition. Um, they said, okay, you, you're the guy. It paid very very little at the time, and I almost didn't do it because I had another gig that I had to cancel in order to do the Halsey gig. But I decided I would just try try the Halsey gig. Um, at the time, it paid twelve hundred bucks a week, <laughs> and. Uh, I had to use all my own gear, and um, and so we went on the road, and we basically didn't stop touring for three years after that point because we, our first show was to 80 people, and then 200 people, and then on and on, and got bigger and bigger and bigger, um, and uh, by the end of the first two years, we were playing arenas. Um, so that's a long way of saying, I guess, that the way that I got started with Halsey was by getting with her on the ground floor. And that's what I would recommend for artists. Is it, it, for, for pianists and people who want to be music directors, find, be your own talent scout. Find a really great young artist who needs your help because there are t a ton of them. There's a lot of talent out there who's not going to get known unless they have some help and you can be the person to help them. And if you help them, you get to expect to be, to get the short end of the stick and that's okay um, because it'll help your career too. Uh, and so that's what I did with Halsey and helped make that what it was musically for those three years. 
Um, and at the end of the three years, I decided it was time to move on and get back to my own creative roots, which is why I started Tiny, Tiny Room. And um, yeah, and the rest is history. So I hope that helps explain. And I'm sure you're asking for the sake of like, how do I find a gig like that? And I would generally recommend find great artists who, who need your help. Not, don't look to get a gig with a giant artist. You can, the, the, those exist, but they're, they're super high competition. They're few and far between. Um, if you find an artist who needs your help and then help them make it, uh, you'll be much better for it and you'll be helping the world in the process. So hope that uh, answered your question. Thank you.